Ja, meine Damen und Herren, 150 Meter Lagen. Das ist eine Disziplin, die nicht immer geschwommen wird und die vor allem in der Startklasse S3, S4 hier geschwommen wird. Und ich bin sehr Ich bin sehr gespannt, wie Gina Böttcher vor allem das hier... So, just the two world records to look out for in the two categories taking part, SM3 and SM4, which makes it a lot easier than previous finals we've seen tonight. SM3, which Veronica Guerenko in lane two, and Sakuko Kato are taking part in, uh, in lane six as well. That record they are looking to get as close as possible to is Olga Sviderska of Ukraine. She set a time of 2.54.14 in 2006 in Rio de Janeiro. How close can Guerenko and Cato get to that? The remaining swimmers, Gina Boccher in lane three, Monica Borgioni in four, K Carolina Heimer in five, and Sonia Sigadotia in seven are all aiming for the world record of 247.57 in the SM4 category, which was set by Zhao Cheng of China. Also at the Rio Games in 2016. And again, it's a record that may get to a year old if these athletes can't stop it from carrying on. It's standing as world record. On your screen there in lane four is Monica Borgioni. Well out in front, no surprise. She's definitely the hot favourite for this one. And she makes her way now onto the freestyle for the final 50 metres. It certainly looks as if that she's doing terribly well for time. Remember, she's got to beat 247.57 if she's going to get a world record. It looks like it's going to be a difficult ask that, but you wouldn't rule her out of anything. She's looking for a hat-trick of world records this weekend. She doesn't want to go a day with that one, which looks like she may do here if she doesn't pick up one in this final. She's got 20 meters to go. 247.57 is the aim. Even if she doesn't beat that, she's still going to get very close to 1,000 anyway. But if she comes now towards those final 10 meters or so, can she do it inside seven seconds? It's looking very good indeed, and it will be a world record for Monica Boggioni. 1,010 is the points for her. 246.73 is the time. She has done it by just under a second, but it needn't matter how much she's done it by because Monica Boggioni could now boast yet another world record. We thought she may have got one earlier. She has definitely got one now. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. Now the question is, where will the rest of the medals go? Because no one is taking that gold away from Monica Boggioni. Touching in second there in lane five is Carolina Hammer of Poland on 702. Her time, 319.92. It will be better than that of Gina Butcher, who looks poised at the moment to finish in the bronze medal position. And in fact, she has confirmed her spot there as well because none of the remaining three swimmers can go any better than the three we have already seen touch home. On the screen there is uh, Sakuko Kato of Japan, the veteran, as we touched on earlier, born in 1955. An immense credit to her for still carrying on the sport she loves right to this day. And she embarks now on the final 10 metres and will get over 400 points. Will it be above 450? It's going to be very close indeed. Touching in now on 454 outside of the medal positions, but ahead of uh, Veronica Guerenko, who uh, comes in now. And Veronica Guerenko touching in on 431.91 in fifth position and on 410 points. And then camera on here, Sonia Sigurdottir uh, from Iceland. Qualify for this event with a time of 540. 
on the dot and it's going to be very close to see if she's actually going to get close to that because she's got around 15 meters to go in the pool and she's currently on 513 so I think that she may beat her entry time which would be uh, very good indeed as a personal accolade for Sonia Sigatio. There's a few Icelandic supporters in here as well and they'll definitely be happy with Sonia Sigatio's performance there as uh, she touches in on 5.40. And there's your new record holder, Monica Boggioni in the SM4 category for the women's 150 individual medley. And, uh, well, we questioned at the start, would she have any fatigue going into this? And I have to say, I feel very foolish right now on uh, looking back on those comments because I couldn't have been more wrong. Monica Boggioni really showing how great an athlete she is 